Do you believe there should be a criminal investigation? 100 percent. More than 100 percent. Mike Morales wants Sterigenics investigated for releasing ethylene oxide, a cancer-causing chemical, without being filtered. When you started there, or at any time, did anyone tell you how dangerous this chemical could be in the form of cancer? Not that, no, not cancer. They did say it was explosive, like literally like would make a big blow up that whole area. He says he worked at the company as a forklift driver in the early 2000s while he was in his 20s and fresh out of the military. I was stupid enough to obey orders because I just got out of the Marines. One of his jobs, he says, was to clean out sterilization chambers, coated in a thick sludge-like residue after medical products were sterilized with ethylene oxide. We used the hoses out there to clean and then squeegee and they would just go into the drain. They figured we'd just go along with orders. He says the plant had about a dozen sterilization chambers. The chambers would run different cycles. They would leak gas a lot of times, I swear. Swear to God. Andy so, says he was even there. told to move a drum filled with the gas outside when it sprung a leak. It'd have a leak and we'd take like this Teflon tape to kind of like stop that leakage. You're saying there was actually a time where they took a drum that was leaking yes, ethylene right. oxide and had you put it outside. There's an outside patio area that is right uh, behind the chambers and it just, it's hidden from the public. He says he's coming forward after our CBS2 investigators exposed allegations from other former workers, including those who gave sworn statements, all claiming the company took safety shortcuts. These are claims Sterigenics denies. You believe they were sending more of this stuff up, out their stacks, out their side vents, out their doors, than they ever reported to the EPA. Definitely. It causes cancer, cell mutation, it's highly explosive. Morales says he's concerned about the people who live near Sterigenics and have come forward to talk about their cancers. I feel bad for the people. I feel bad like when I found out about the one that's dying of cancer, he's leaving his four-year-old son. And it, that, that hurt me the most. He's talking about Matt Haller. Lost uh, 75 pounds. Who's battling stage four stomach cancer and trying to create a few more memories for his wife and son. CBS in Chicago revealed a few days ago that ethylene oxide was often released directly into the air. We went to Washington, where government leaders are now calling for civil and criminal probes. We do know this. Chemicals, some chemicals have been tested to cause cancer. Ethylene oxide is one of them. Both Senator Dick Durbin and Senator Tammy Duckworth want anyone with information about possible wrongdoing involving this chemical to contact authorities. So how important was it that the whistleblowers came forward? Incredibly important, and um, we are also hearing from some other whistleblowers as well. My office has received uh, information. Duckworth says whistleblowers from the EPA have been coming forward too. I didn't know about it at the time. Right now, I feel really bad. This is why I'm here to make a difference to help those people out. He should not feel guilty about that. He should certainly feel proud that he stepped forward to bring his message. It was a very vicious, vicious cancer and uh, very painful. TJ Kelleher lives near the company and wants to know if the gas caused his wife Eva's pancreatic cancer and wonders about his neighbors too. I think as a cancer focus, when you have just 150 feet, we have three incidents of cancer. This home was uh, what we built. Our children were raised here. And to think that the very thing that she loved the most, this house, could have killed her. I loved it here, all the memories I had here. 15 year old Julian Glick spent much of his childhood around Sterigenics, fishing at this pond and practicing soccer on nearby fields places that are now the site of air testing canisters. In sixth grade, he was diagnosed with leukemia. Every time I went to the hospital, I just had like a terrible feeling in my stomach. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna come back. I thought I was gonna die. It was a very scary feeling. Now in remission and in high school at Hinsdale South, he's recently learned air testing shows elevated levels of ethylene oxide there too. He blames the chemical for causing his illness. I am very angry that they that this could have been totally preventable and my life could have been a lot better than it is because of yeah because the uh, leukemia it was bad and it sucks that it was preventable.
Recent U.S. EPA testing and private Willowbrook testing showed elevated levels of ethylene oxide. So much so, the Illinois EPA shut down the plant's operations involving the use of the gas in Willowbrook. In federal court Wednesday, a lawyer for Sterigenics argued it's impossible the high levels of ethylene oxide came from the company. Our U.S. EPA, they've been sitting on their hands for a long time on this, and they have not done a thing about it. Attorney Tony Romanucci represents Glick and Kelleher. He says the state and federal EPA failed residents and should have conducted all this testing years ago. They're emitting too much of a compound that causes cancer. They still can't contain it. And he wants to know if the EPA even knew about these three additional warehouses, two in Burr Ridge and another one near the main facility in Willowbrook, especially since these whistleblowers say in these warehouses, sterilized product would off-gas. Morales said he worked in one of those warehouses, this yellow one, for a period of time too. There was not a ventilation room in there whatsoever. So where did that gas go? It's going out. It's going, spreading around. So you're wearing a gas mask in a building yes, sir. that's just uh, maybe a hundred yards away, a few hundred yards away from homes. Yeah. Yes, sir. And those people had no idea. No. Sterigenics has denied off-gassing at other warehouses and says it follows all regulations. The company says it never intentionally allowed ethylene oxide to be released in any illegal manner and have no record of any leaking EO drum during Mr. Morales' tenure. The company also says neither EO nor ethylene glycol is removed as part of the cleaning of sterilization chambers, as Mr. Morales described, and says it was allowed to discharge certain waste materials into the sanitary sewer for treatment. This process was not only authorized, but also disclosed to the local sanitation district. And importantly, this authorized practice no longer takes place. Robin Erica, the lawmakers, just keep encouraging more workers to come forward. Okay. Stay on top of it for us, Dave. Thanks.